Hi everyone, this is Diana with Allie and Me Artisan Soaps. I am the me behind Allie and Me. Today, I'm going to show you how I make my fluid countertop high temperature hot process soap with no external heat other than the heated oils and the hot light. Now many people do it different ways. This is my way of doing it. Uh, I see some people stick blending all the way through and uh, the whole cooking process, um, it takes 10, 15 minutes. But I am um, gonna add some wine at the end of the cook. And so my total water discount is 33%, but I'm only using 20% of that for my cook. And you'll see that it, it uh, she, she's a little testy. Um, she wants to do multiple volcanoes and so that's why I don't stick blend all the way through because I want to be able to get a good handle on things as she goes through the, the whole process. Now what I'm doing here is I'm stick blending just to get a really thick trace and then I leave her. I leave her do her thing. And here she is. Uh, that's perfect. That consistency there is a thick enough trace. Uh, and then I'll close her up and let the heat uh, do its thing. Uh, now don't turn your back on on this soap all on on this on this method altogether. Any any hot fluid, hot process, high temperature. Don't turn your back. Uh, stay right right there. See now she's starting to give me some action there. This is good. This is what I'm looking for and she's starting to volcano there and I stir her down it is and then it starts into this applesauce sea stage perfect this is exactly what I'm looking for so the name of the game here with this type of process or even hot process is the continued stirring because you don't want to have it cook on um, certain parts of the soap unevenly. You don't want it to cook unevenly, unevenly, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And as you stir it down, fold the soap, then you cover it because, again, you want the heat to do its thing. Sometimes in this applesauce stage, you can get some separation, and that's okay. Sometimes you do and you've got to make it work. I was a little um, laxed in getting her motivated. I, I wanted her to do her thing, but she gets into this lazy Susie stage that you'll see in a little bit. And I should have just, um, should have just motivated her uh, a little bit sooner. But I, I'm still seeing some action and so it's good just noticing some separation and so I'm mixing it in not trying to rush her into anything because again I, I was a little apprehensive of her volcanoing and getting out of control and making this huge mess in my kitchen so I uh, checked up my uh, my container there my base and it's she's still really really hot so I know that it isn't um, because of the heat, the lack of heat. So I give her one quick stir again. And you see at the, in the sides of my, of my ceramic bowl there, my crock pot, um, it's just starting to separate and I'm trying to get it well incorporated and it's just not working. And at this point I should have just grabbed my stick blender and motivated her stimulated her but I was being patient letting her do her thing and she's just not moving and just one thing I wanted to share with you is uh, some people like like me don't like to use uh, our cooking pots for our soaping uh, our soaping habits and and it can get really expensive to uh, buy two separate type of bowls and spatulas 
but I'm a huge bargain shopper. I love to go to the fleet markets and I was able to grab this bowl and all of the utensils that I use here uh, uh, for $3, bargain, bargain price of $3. So you can, you can uh, feed your habit on a budget. So don't be afraid to go to those flea markets. You can really get a bargain. See here, I'm starting motivating her. I use my stick blender, give it some quick bursts as I go down, but most of the action, pardon my hand there, uh, uh, most of the action is just bringing my stick blender up and down, motivating her, stimulating her. I cover her because See, I'm seeing some action right in the middle, but not on the sides. So I fold the soap in, and I still see some separation. Now I'm saying, ay, 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 come on, princess. Work for me here. But you'll see, there's just, there's just too much oil on the side. So I said, forget it. I grab my stick blender and now I'm gonna force her uh, through the cook. There it is, same process, giving it some quick bursts as I go down, up and down, not too much. Most of the action is with my blender, my stick blender off and I am just stimulating her. Up and down, up and down, and I'm pausing because I am wanting to check if she's going to volcano and she doesn't, she's done volcanoing. So I'm just assisting her. <laughs> I'm calling it she because um, she reminds me of me. I get testy at times. I am just motivating uh, to finish the cook and you see how she's starting to turn color. She's starting to uh, give me this Vaseline jelly translucent. Uh, and that's what I'm looking for is ultimately that because then I know that it's done with the cook. So I'm mixing her in, folding that soap in to make sure that it all cooks evenly. Now a lot of people aren't a fan of scraping the sides, but she's still soft enough that I can fold her in. I'm just a fan of not leaving any soap behind. Maybe that's the bargain shopper in me. Ugh. Gotta get it all in, don't wanna waste anything. Bring it in, bring it in, and mixing it in. So I continue to stir her in, making sure that it all is an even cook. Now, through the process, you'll see that I, um, that when I add the wine, she gets really, really hot. So watch this. Take note for when you do your recipe, if you want to use this same exact recipe, make sure that you stir her in really well because she gets really hot. Now I'm adding the FO here, the fragrance oil. Then check this out. I'm adding the wine. Ay, ay, ay. Look at her. She is just hot. Make sure that you stir it in here. I'm freaking out saying, I too, oh, I don't want her to overcook on, on one end and not the other, right? Because then it just, she will have some really big chunk pieces that are just super hot, super hard. And I didn't want that. Is if I want to do a, a swirl, a hanger swirl. So I'm mixing her in. Here I'm thinking, where is the whisk when you need it? So you continue to mix her in. But see how the wine got it fluid and I'm really liking it. And I was hoping that I didn't need to add anything else to this. I guess I could have just left it like that, but I wanted, I didn't want her to stiffen up on me. So I ended up adding some yogurt that I had and it was just a little bit of yogurt. I, I, if I didn't measure it, but if I, I guess it would be like two tablespoons of yogurt. Here I'm cooking four pounds of, of soap. So I could have gone a little more without it not hurting anything, but I wanted to, to make sure that she was gonna stay fluid enough. And when I add my color, uh, I mixed in some titanium dioxide with a little bit of water 
because she's too dark, way too dark for my liking. Uh, so I add in uh, some titanium dioxide and, and she still stayed really fluid. Here I grab my bowl uh, because I'm going to separate uh, some soap batter and I added, I'm going to pre-mix uh, some, uh, some clay, some purple Brazilian clay. Here's a note, please take note of this. I did this with just a little bit of oil, pre-mixed my clay with a little bit of oil and what I should have done is I should have added some water to that because clay absorbs water. So that portion of my soap stayed, stayed too thick, but hey, you know, we made it work. But in hindsight, I should have added some water. So make some note of that for when you make uh, this recipe and share with me, would you please share pictures? Let me know how it goes. Here, I ended up grabbing my whisk because the color just wasn't getting well incorporated. <sighs> so now I'm mixing my clay and my clay is hard, harder than what I anticipated. And part of the problem is that the clay absorbed water and then I waited too long to mix uh, my clay in well because the name of the game here is you've gotta be quick. You have to, have to do everything fast. It's already cooked soap. So the minute it cools down, it gets hard. So here I'm grabbing my spatula and I am putting in my soap batter and I'm liking the consistency, really liking the consistency. And I check, check out my clay. It, <laughs> It's still warm, but it's too thick. It's not as fluid. Look at I, I'm trying. You'll see when I try and look at that. It's thick. Oh wow, well. we made it work. But my other batter here, my base batter, is beautiful. Look how nice and fluid it is. Of course, it's not going to be your cold process type of fluid, but it's nice. It's fluid. It's fluid enough. There I go, and I'm adding another layer of my purple clay, and I'm thinking, hi, Diana, what did you do? You should have mixed more, but here I am. Be really careful when you do this. This soap is really hot, um, especially the base is really hot when you scrape the soap off of your finger. I, I'm, a, I'm a huge cook. Uh, I cook a lot of Hispanic foods. Um, this reminds me when I do my enchiladas, Oof, the tips of your fingers get scorched because um, it's it's hot. So I'm used to um, I'm used to doing this, but if you're gonna just be really careful, and I took my gloves off because the the soap's already cooked, and so it's safe to handle. There I am, the bargain shopper in me, scraping the sides of that bowl, getting all the soap in. And I am just making sure that the soap is evenly distributed. And I'm gonna give it one good smack down here in a minute. So on the floor, I just give it a good smack down and it, it all, um, it comes down, eliminates those air pockets. Check this out. I am doing this hanger swirl and I'm able to do the hanger swirl okay. Despite that really, really hard clay my purple clay and I'm swirling the other way and we'll see we'll see how it looks again I'm thinking I should have put more color used multiple colors but hey there's always a next time right so here I am spritzing it a little bit with alcohol just to make sure that the top part of it gets fluid Again, because it's already starting to cool off and I don't want these really high, uneven peaks. So I grabbed a, a skewer stick and I am just um, mixing it up, making it look, I guess, a little more decent. I can't do any high tops. This isn't cold process. Spritzing it a little more with alcohol. And then you'll see, I grab my purple, uh, my purple clay and it's already super hard I'm giving it one more smack down because I'm thinking I can't leave the top like this 
I, I should have just left it like that, but no. The code process, Soper and me wants to have some sort of a design up on top. Look at this, it's not gonna work. So I, I just mixed it, mixed it in to my hot batter. And I ended up just mixing in some, some micas with a little bit of oil just to give it um, a little bit of a, a, touch, a textured look, make it look pretty, giving it another smack down here. So I am putting some sort of color in and it'll eventually soak in um, into the soap as I give it a couple weeks. Uh, to lose its water weight Here I am I'm doing some purple and then I'm gonna do some gold here in a minute I'm gonna finish up here the decor using um, the the mica mixed with a little bit of, of oil um, And what I did after is I put this loaf in the freezer for an hour I brought it down from the freezer and into my refrigerator for 30 minutes and then on my counter for another 30 minutes. And you'll see that when I cut, it it, it was already uh, pretty hard. Uh, I struggled just a little bit cutting it. And um, what I'll do after is I'll put it on my curing rack for about uh, two weeks. I have an event coming up. So if I did uh, do this, a wine soap using my cold process method it would not have cured in time so this was perfect I thought I'd record it and give you guys a tutorial hoping that you can uh, try this recipe and share with me your successes uh, I gave you my takeaways uh, doing this soap and uh, please share share with the soaping community because that's what the soap community is all about we help each other out right because we all want to make a successful soap so that we can provide soap to the rest of the world right our goal is to make sure that they buy handmade and not factory store-bought because handmade is better here it is not too bad I should have used a more color to color my batter a little more there but hey it works and you were able to see that I was uh, successful in doing the hanger swirl and it's good color right we're always super critical of of our work I am sure the customers would love this I am the only one that sees the imperfections so thank you for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and share, and follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. Happy soaping!